Good morning, everyone. Today I wanted to share with you a piece that I did um, with Cole Newman. We uh, met up in Seattle and created this pendulum pour. Um, Cole is actually out of Dallas, um, but we hooked up in Seattle. And if you don't follow him, you absolutely need to follow him at Cole's Color. He's also doing a um, art show in LA in June and uh, over on all of his channels, you can check him out and uh, get that information if you're in the LA area. So here we go, you can see where I had set up the pendulum and I've started my swing here. And the more you do these, the more you can kind of figure out where you can aim to get certain effects. I wanted to do more of a circular pattern and as you can see here, I'm getting um, a really co cool looking effect here. Almost looks uh, ocular a little bit there. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna let it go into this spiraling 3D black hole effect or if I want to stop and uh, do another pour. So you can see where I'm like, okay, here we go, I've had enough. And I'm trying to decide exactly where I want to start again. And we've got some uh, little goobers in the bottom of the can. Sometimes um, where paint dries on the can, it can, um, you know, make these little hard things. And you have to pick them out so you can get um, another steady stream. So here I am trying to pick my point that I want to start in to uh, get the ef desired effect of not just another circular pour. I wanted to go for something oblong and uh, kind of make a um, something contrasting what I did before. So as you can see, my swing was just a little bit hard, but um, we're going here. And um, so this is uh, just um, a white house paint. Um, but the background canvas that we have down there is actually... Um, painted like a forest green, but it's also mixed with um, pigment powder from this Little Piggy Pigments TLP um, that I got from Fluid Art Co. Um, the color we mixed it with is Aspen. You really can't tell until you're closer up, but um, it gives it a nice uh, kind of mica sparkle. Um, <laughs> you can see I'm trying to decide when the right point to pull up is here. So, but um, I really am digging the effect here. I love this 3D kind of look we've ended up with. And just so you know that my canvas there is actually somewhere around four foot by six and a half, which will give you a really nice statement piece. Okay, so here we go. We have our finished panel here. Looks amazing. And here's a close up of the center, which is just hypnotic and this is me and Cole so follow me at Amy McKeon Art